Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna show you how you can get this really cool clone repeater effect. Now this is super easy and I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it, but really quick, if you've been finding my videos at all helpful, feel free to like and subscribe or drop a comment. It helps me out a ton and I really appreciate it. All right, so without wasting too much time, let's just jump right into it. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is separate your subject from your background. So if you didn't film this on a green screen, you're gonna have to rotoscope. I've already done some tutorials in the past where I sort of walk you through the rotoscope process. So if you're new to this, uh, just follow the link in the bio and I'll kind of show you how you can do that a little bit better. But for this, I'm just gonna kind of start here with my rotoscope layer already. And as you can see in the effects panel, I'm just kind of toggling it on and off. So I'm gonna select that, make it on, and then hit Control D and duplicate my layer. And then I'm going to just turn off the rotoscope effect on the bottom layer. And I'm just gonna label this background. So the next step is going to be duplicating your rotoscope layer. Now, depending on how good of a computer you have, you might run into some problems uh, with it just kind of taking a long time to load, but that just depends on your GPU. So once I have, I think I only need six layers. So once I have six layers, I'm going to select all of them and then hit S on my keyboard. And that's going to bring up the scale properties. So what we're going to do is sort of make these larger sequentially so it kind of creates that trippy clone effect. So on the second layer, I'm going to make it 120. On the third layer, I'm going to make it 140. On the fifth, I'm going to make it 160, 180, and then 200. So just like that, we already have this really cool clone repeater effect. And depending on what you're going for, this might be it. But I think another fun way to sort of make it a little bit more exciting and dynamic is to kind of animate it a little bit. Really quick, once we get to one second here, let's just select all of our layers and then create a keyframe for the settings that we have. And then we're gonna come to the front with all of our layers still selected. We're going to hit 100 and that's going to make it so that all of those layers uh, go to 100 at the same time. And then really quickly, we can easy ease these. You could also hit F9 on your keyboard. And then you actually have it sort of expand out. And it's just an extra little layer to add a little bit more sauce to your project, you know, nothing too crazy. And if you wanted to, you could even select these keyframes. And I'm just going to select them when they're already fully expanded. And then if we come to almost the end, I'm just gonna select them all again, hit 100 on my keyboard. We can maybe play around with this placement just a little bit. But then you'll have it so that it animates on and off. So I think that this is a really fun effect. I've been seeing it used a ton in rap music videos, but people have been doing this one for the past couple of years. So if you're interested in getting something like this, I think that this is a really good approach and uh, we'll get you some really cool results. So I'm super stoked to see what you guys come up with. Drop a comment if this was helpful at all, or let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see me create.